What is up, you guys? This is Herpy Derpy, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Enu match. Now, this match is really interesting because uh, my opponent's gonna be using this weird, weird Smeargle set, which I've never seen before, and I'm really surprised that nobody's used this. So, um, either way, hope you guys enjoy this battle because I really did want to kind of show you what kind of weird Smeargle set this was. So, I, completely irrelevant from the Smeargle, gonna start off with my Roselia. Uh, he's gonna go for, into his Kangaskhan, which I know the which. I know packs a fake out, so I'm gonna go into my lick a tongue to take the fake out very nicely. I am running max defense, max HP within the violet, so I know I can take physical moves like a champ, and drain punch does absolutely nothing to me. I'm just gonna go for a wish because I can. Now he's gonna go into Blossom, and I'm just gonna dragon tail that Blossom right out because I know he was gonna switch right there. And now um, I'm gonna get my HP back, which is awesome. Now I'm gonna go for another wish to kind of scout out what he's gonna switch into. He chooses Mill Tank, and I'm gonna go into Roselia thinking he might go for a Toxic, but he's actually gonna go for Stealth Rock, so it's cool either way. Now Body Slam does hit me, and I get paralyzed, which really doesn't matter because I do. Pay the natural cure and Roselia is slow as hell anyway so it, I don't know it's not that big of a deal but either way he's gonna go back into his Kangaskhan while I'm gonna set up layer of toxic spiked which is gonna help so much in this battle you'll see and just having one le just having one level of poison just gonna help out so much and earthquake doesn't do anything to me on my Lickitung because Lickitung is a beast so that's cool and now gonna go for another wish just to kind of scout what he wants to do now I'm just gonna stay and try to go for a dragon tail because I want to heal my Lickitung up He's gonna encore me into Wish, which is a good play on his part, because that is gonna force me to switch out, and unfortunately he is gonna be able to set up a sub and tail glow. But I'm not that too I'm not too concerned because I do kind of have a small plan. And I'm just gonna take this opportunity to start setting up some spikes because I know spikes, uh just any entry hazard is gonna be useful in this battle. So um he's gonna baton pass here. He's gonna go into his Pikachu. Now, this scared me because Pikachu with a light ball already has a crap ton of special attack and you know now he has a tail glow as well I'm like oh my god this is crazy he's gonna hit him power ice me or well, I'm assuming it's ice cuz you know what else kind of hit him power you'd have fire like please <laughs> so um I have to sacrifice my Roselia gonna go into my skun tank because I do pack sucker punch and I really need to break this sub in order for my plan to work so I'm gonna break the sub very nicely he's gonna go for a t-bolt you know what whatever it's cool I'd rather just have my skun tank die because I really do need a safe switch into my Da, 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 seismitoad. My seismitoad is running a scarf, so I know I can outspeed this Pikachu, throw off my opponent, and just finish it off very easily. So that's awesome, because he did not see that coming. I'm sure he was going to go for a grass dot and try to kill off my seismitoad, but no dice for him. So now he's going to go into his Blossom. This is actually the first time I've seen a Blossom, and I thought he might go for either Sleep Powder, maybe predicting my switch, or possibly a Giga Drain. He's actually going to go for a Leaf Blade, and I'm like, what? Physical attacking Blossom? awesome get out of here that's weird so now I don't want to take another one so I'm gonna go into my Stantler who does pack the sap zipper so I'm gonna be able to take this leaf blade convert it into some attack and now my Stantler is ready to rock so I'm just gonna go for a very safe frustration there's no reason for me to try to go for anything else because I don't really think anything else on his team can uh, resist that uh, frustration so it's cool um, he's gonna back into Kangaskhan I really don't want to take another fake out so I'm just gonna go into my licky licky to take it and unfortunately i do lose that sap super boost but you know what it's cool um he's gonna go into volbeat now uh pretty much as fodder because i of my two layer of spikes he's not gonna be able to set up any more uh spikes or i mean tail glows so that's awesome now the smear comes in and i'm like okay i know that the uh spore is coming so i'm gonna switch into my mantike to take the spore because i do pack sleep talk and it's awesome because i also did go for the wish so i'm gonna be able to not only absorb the spore but i'm also gonna get back a ton of hp which is awesome so now i'm gonna switch immediately back into my lickitung because I want to make sure he doesn't go for any like shell smash or any shenanigans like that. He's actually gonna go for the transfer and I'm like what transform that's so weird but the problem is that I my <laughs> my Lickitung completely gets walled by the other Lickitung so I'm like oh crap what I should have done here I should have gone for the dragon tail but he's actually going to dragon tail me out back into my man tyke who is currently uh sleeping right now and I'm not sure why it's not showing that I'm asleep because the PO viewer is kind of weird but either way I'm gonna go for the sleep talk 
Um, and unfortunately for me, uh, I'm not going to get anything useful, which sucks. And he is actually going to go for the heal bell, because I do pack that. And I'm like, oh my god, this sucks. So <laughs> he's really using my lick of tongue against me, and this kind of sucks, because I really need to take this thing down. Now, I'm, I get the two-turn wake up, which is actually kind of stupid, because I try to go for a sleep top, thinking I'm not going to get the two-turn wake up. He's going to drag into me out, dragon tail me out back into Stantler. Going to go for the jump kick, and I miss, which sucks, which I'm sure would have done a lot of damage to this uh to my own like a tongue but he now i'm gonna crash and now i'm gonna die to stealth rocks next turn which kind of sucks but now i am i am just gonna go for the toxic because i can uh i'm not actually i'm not actually asleep i don't know why that viewer thing is doing that but either way he's gonna dragon mail to out dragon tail me out back into Lickitung, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna just go for my own Dragon Tail, because, you know what, I really need to get rid of this uh, Smeargle. So I finally outspeed it, I win the speed tie, and I'm gonna send him out back into his king, it's gone, perfect. So, now, um, I'm just gonna, uh, switch out, and gonna go into my Stantler as fodder, because, uh, my Stantler wasn't gonna be able to live anyways, and I kinda just want a, uh, safe switch, because I know the fake out is coming, and I really don't want my Lickitung to be taking any more, um, unnecessary damage. So I'm going to go into my Seismitoad, and I'm just going to go for a Focus Blast, because I now know I'm in the range where, you know, he has, like, Smeargle, he has Miltank, he has this thing left, and I know for Focus Blast is all super effective against all three of them, and I know I can outspeed them all, so just going to just lock myself into Focus Blast, and then that pretty much is going to ensure me the game, because I know Miltank isn't really known for being that specially defensive bulky, so one Focus Blast is going to be able to finish off that Miltank, Rel with relative ease. Now Smeargle's gonna come in, and I'm like, oh hell no, you are not going to freaking transform into me. And he, and I, luckily for me, I my uh, focus blast locks in, and it's perfect. I sync with it, and I kill off that Smeargle. So hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I'm definitely gonna try out transform Smeargle after this because that was really interesting, and it caused me so many problems for my team. Because sometimes your own Pokemon could be the one thing that can completely shut down your own team. So. Definitely interesting battle. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later. Peace.